Yes, finally, I found a dash camera system which I wanted to have in my car, which takes all the options and the great video recording. Just have a look at it. Write me in the comment section below that which camera system you have, which can beat this one. What's up guys, Naresh here and you are watching Naresh Television. If you are new here, why not click on to the subscribe button because here on my channel, you're going to see good stuff for your Kodi streaming world and some fantastic tech product reviews for the products you like to keep in daily use, not in the corner of your house. And if you're already my subscriber, thank you very much for being there for me. Now, yes, you got me right in the beginning of this video. I have really found a dash cam which I always wanted which ticks all the boxes for me to have it in my car this dash camera is by VFO and model number is a 129 dual which covers the front as well as rear of my car so technically I'm fully covered from pan cracks pan cracks yes people who do frauds let me first tell you the key feature of this dash camera which I'm sure all of you are going to like as well first one it's a dual channel so you're recording front as well as the rear of your car second one the lens both cameras front as well as the rear are capable to record full HD 1080p recording at 30 frames per second both cameras are equipped with a 140 degree wide angle with the aperture of 1.6 and 7g high glass lens now the camera sensor which is very important it comes with the sony star view lens which is very good to do the nighttime recording so technically you're going to get a great nighttime recording and you will be clearly be able to see the number plate in the nighttime as well well the camera which i order it comes with the built-in gps as well as the bluetooth remote control came with this optional cpl filter circular polarizing lens which will help you to reduce the reflection as well as the glare from your windscreen as well as the road surface without damaging your footage so in the end you end up having the good footage recorded on your dash cam dash cam also came with the dual band wi-fi that means that you can use on your latest phones as well as on old mobile phones now by using the mobile phone application you can change the settings of the camera as well as download the footage from the micro SD card now this camera also give you an option of installing 256 gigabytes of memory card which is pretty massive to be honest with you for the dash cam but it's recording front as well as rear that would be ideal to have now as usual let's go ahead with the unboxing following with the recorded footage and conclusion let's have a look what we have in the box one standard mini usb cable for front camera charging couple of clips with the 3m sticker to tidy up wiring and a trim opening tool which is very handy to have two camera mount with the 3m adhesive pads and some extra 3m sticky pads one dual car charger with the output of 5 volt and 3.1 ampere one one meter mini usb cable for data transfer one communication cable between front and rear camera with marked front as well as rear connection. One user manual which provide information on product, installation, operation and so much more. One full HD 1080p rear camera where on the back of camera we have a port for communication and on top notch to slide in the adhesive pad. Lens assembly moves up and down, which will give you freedom of mounting it how you like it. Now, in last but not least, we have our VFO A129 front camera. Where in the front of the camera, we have a 2-inch HD display. In the bottom, all the buttons to access the menu. Now, in one of his side, we have a reset pin as well as a micro SD card slot, which supports up to 250 gigabytes of memory and a mic input now on the other side of camera you have a mini usb port for the charging this camera av output port as well as the rear camera connection camera also got some extra air vents on both sides now in the base of camera you have four slots to install the windscreen mount camera we have now as obvious in the front of camera we have 140 degree wide angle and also come with a 7g high quality lens with the Sony Starby image sensor 
as soon as powered, it will start recording straight away. Now you cannot access the menu while it's recording. To access the menu by pressing this REC button. Now once the recording is stopped, you're going to see camera will be bleeping to notify you that it's not recording. Click this menu button to access the menu where you're going to see the access within the resolution, bitrate, live video sources, loop recording, WDR, exposure, parking mode, time lapse recording, motion detection, GPS, speed unit, G sensor, Wi Fi setting if you would like to use the app. Next is the time stamp, GPS information stamp, camera model stamp, and so much more. I would highly recommend every one of you to format the SD card when you install it first time so we'll make sure that it is suitable to your dash cam now from the point of options and the user interface camera seems to be very decent now let's have a look into the daytime recording daytime recording of front as well as the rear dash cam now let's have a look into the night time recording
daytime as well as the nighttime recording and the both footage are fantastic to be honest with you now in my opinion i personally think this camera is worth buying 100 percent and i'm not seeing any issue other than one issue which can be resolved by a software update by ufo well the issue was when you enable the wi-fi you can't use this button anymore on the camera so that is the only problem i found other than that no problem whatsoever no radio signal interference which i noticed on my last cr900 dual dash camera where i wasn't been able to use my car fob as well as the dab radio signal i tend to review products in very detail and show you everything which i can find as a normal user so that will be all guys thank you very much for watching this video if you still have more questions or any reservation regarding this vfo product please let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you right in there there we go guys shall see you soon into another video bye